Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK, and eventually, at some point, we hope, welcome back to Farm Manager 2021. There's a few few things I'm going to have to discuss today. It is episode 13, or year 13, and uh, as such, things are going to go wrong. Like, for example, at the start of this video, where's the bloody game? There we go. Thank you very much for uh, finally doing that for me. Um, so yes... Uh, I want to talk about the mechanics because uh, in my tutorial, and I have done many times, I buy cheap second-hand vehicles, I repair them, and then I send them back to... Uh, I sell them back to whoever for a profit. But it turns out that we're not actually making a profit because if you see here, see the old mechanics doing a thing. Takes a lot longer in normal time mode, doesn't she? Goodness me. Right, I think she's done. There you go, job done. But if we come in here and look at the expenses, you can see that that cost me 34,000 for that, which means that we don't actually make a profit on this at all. So I've sent the devs an email because quite frankly, if you buy a second-hand vehicle and fix it, and it costs you more than it would to buy it brand new, then the whole mechanic uh, and the point of buying second-hand vehicles is completely pointless. It really is completely pointless. So they need to look at that. Now, the, the mechanic has been in a number of different states since, uh, since the game released. And um, effectively, um, effectively, it has gone from not working at all to working okay. But I think it just needs that final tweak to get it working. So apologies to anyone out there who's been, uh, and I know some of you have, uh, anyone who, out there who's been uh, using that technique and losing money, I can only apologize. It's not very clear. Um, like for example, if you pay wages or whatever, then m money comes out the top of the, the uh, building. And obviously it doesn't do that with the mechanic. So I didn't notice that the cash was coming out. So, uh, yeah, I apologize, but that, I think, is something that needs to be fixed and changed. So, we'll get into that at some point. So, winter ends in 80 days. You can see we're still here mowing the grass. In my humble opinion, as soon as winter sets in, this should be totally wasted. It should be lost. But that's not how the game is at the moment. In time, I hope it transforms and becomes that. Right, what are we going to grow here? I think if we're going to go... Should we go bio... Let's go apples. Let's go apricot. Let's go cherry. Gooseberries, ooh. I'd love to see grapes. But I suppose they're holding back grapes so that they can do the wine making thing, the beer and wine with the hops, etc. I imagine that's a DLC that we can expect to see in the future sometime. Right, what else are we going to do? We're going to do bio on everything just because it pulls in that little bit of extra cash. And once it's set up and working, there's not much we need to do with the orchard. The orchard's quite useful in that sense. Once it's established, it's pretty consistent. Okay, now what I don't want is anything here that um, requires any equipment that we don't currently have. So I could do something like strawberries, perhaps tomatoes. Let's do some tomatoes. And I don't want to do anything that I'm already doing, like blackcurrant. We've already got enough of those. Let's uh, try and find something else. Gooseberries. Why not mix it up? What else do we have? Variety, as they say, is the spice of life. I'm not sure about peas. I think there needs to be like some icons at the bottom here to tell you what machinery you need to uh, to do this stuff. Let's go for some peppers. Nice. 
So that's it. Fruit and vegetables um, all together in one place. Now it's going to take a year for them to establish themselves so I don't imagine we're going to get a return on that this year. So this is going to be a bit of a loss this year but that's okay because we still got the rest of the farm. And my plan is to expand and utilize each expanded square to um, dedicate single areas to. So here for example I'm thinking this is the best place to put animals and have um, an abattoir and all that kind of good stuff. It'll separate the farm out a little bit and I think it'll look really nice. I think it's going to look absolutely awesome. Obviously we've got all the fields in the middle doing their thing and all of these small cow sheds will go. That's a point actually. I need to come in here and do some training. So we should have completed our Yeah, so we've done the agricultural school. Breeding farmers training increases the production rate of milk and eggs by 10% and unlocks the second level for chicken coop, pigsty, cow shed and shed. So we'll do that. And I'm thinking we're going to go in this direction, but I'm going to sell pretty much all of this. So let's go to the house. Yeah, we'll upgrade our building. Why not? Let's buy some more land. 211,000. Very expensive. But what do we have here? So these are all abandoned buildings and such. So I'm just going to get rid of the lot of it. Clear this space out. So what we're going to do today, we're going to build... Uh... Oh, nice. I can keep that tractor. Cool, we can keep that. So I'll keep the machinery, get it repaired. Get the mechanic on it. I'm not getting any money back for this stuff, which is quite annoying. But it's okay. Is that a tractor as well? This is good stuff. A carpool. I probably should have kept all this, but you know, I'm not short of cash and I want to sort of design it to be uh, better. I want to design it in a way that suits my needs. So we'll repair that. Does it mean I have to move it to a garage, does it? Blended. I do wish the camera wouldn't do that. Now I've got to find out where I am. I'm going to have to do that with each of these items. That's going to be a nightmare. Right, let's put a road down. As far as we can go. Is that the edge? Okay, let's take a look at the new areas, the new cow shed. So that's still small, 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 medium. So how big is the medium? It's actually not that much bigger, actually. They were probably mediums that were there. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to uh, see if I can study the next size up. Third level for pigs. <clears throat> okay, so we'll start with pigs then, probably. <clears throat> it's difficult to see where the square begins and ends, isn't it? I guess that's that's the area there. So we're almost certainly going to need... Hmm. I'm not sure where to start with this, actually. Let's have a little think.
Well, that's very nice. Except look how expensive it is to repair. That's not so useful when you look at it in that context. What a nightmare. Where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, so this is kind of handy because uh, the orchard is going to need a lot of this stuff. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. And the orchard is, the new orchard that is, is going to need a whole bunch of stuff that it hasn't got. I'm aware of that. It's going to take a bit of time to, uh, to get it all together. But we're not in a rush, we've got loads of time. So I'm going to leave that there until I've got a bit more cash. That was weird, I'm not sure what tractor that's fixing, but hey, okay. Um... Right. I'm guessing a little peel off here works. Let's start with that. Actually, let's start with... Now you'll see that this doesn't reach any of those fields. That's important. I don't want them to ever be taken away from this job. Uh, but I do want them to cover this this area completely. So I'm trying to place this in a way that gives them as much coverage as possible without getting too close to the fields. Okay, gravy. So of course they have no electricity. There's the next nearest electricity pylon. I guess that's it there. Horrible, ugly looking things they are, but uh, that's the job, I guess. So we're looking for animal people with endurance. She's perfect. She's also very good. Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, we got this new feature now. Allow manual work and allow to use machines. That's not quite enough. We'll have a manufacturer as well. Actually, we'll have you. You're much better. Okay, so it looks like I've filled up the new house already. So we shall call this Livestock 1. And then we will have another one because I think we're going to have a lot of people. Plus we've already got the existing livestock staff that I'm going to need to bring over. So that's a pretty decent start. How much money have we got? 27,000. Oh my gosh. Better sell some stuff. What's selling well? What about the honey money? Yep, that'll do. That's 241,000 in the bank. Cheese. Oh, that's got to go at that price. No, that can stay. They can stay. That can stay. Fish prices are pretty good. Jam is rubbish. 
Ostrich eggs are through the roof. Strawberries are doing well. I still don't know where those raspberries come from. Right, okay. Well, there's a bit of cash anyway. Not bad, considering we're not currently uh, out of the winter yet. Not bad at all. So, what I'd like to do... Got some idea where the boundaries are. What we're going to pop in here is a bit of silage. Uh, yeah, we're going to need some of that as well, aren't we? Let's just go into the education, see how we're getting on. 59%, 60 days left. So we're not going to get the third level of cow building until we've got all the way down there. So that's going to take a bit of time. So we'll focus on pigs. We'll start with pigs. So let's put some pigs down. This will be the first time we've had pigs. Oh, actually, I can't put it down until they've unlocked the bigger one. So, all right, let's focus on silage then. Production. Silage. Liquid, liquid manure. Of course, that thing's in the bloody way, isn't it? Of course it is. Thank you for that alert. Spring has arrived. Okay, we're getting there. So we've got absolutely tons of space now. Space is no longer a problem. Storage for silage three. Storage for silage four, yeah. Okay, we need we need some storage. Actually, I think having it centralised is probably better, isn't it? Yeah, I'm liking the look of that. That works pretty well. So we'll call this... Livestock manufacturer, and that's all I can fit in there. So we need to move. Why can't they put the new house at the top of the list? I really, I really hope they take that camera thing off. It is so, so distracting. Or, better still, let me pick him, 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 and not have to do them one at a time. That would be much better, wouldn't it? 
Oh, hang on, I'm getting all confused. Wrong way, that's the orchard. Okay, so these are all cow types. Jasmine can go in there. Lucy can go in there. She's going to need some training, obviously, but that's okay. Uh, Jasmine can go in the third one. Jackson Bailey can go in the fourth one. They're all going to need a bit of training, but that's absolutely fine. And I think we're doing organic everything, aren't we? So let's just have those set to that. What I might do is actually bring the fields over here for the animal food production. Depends how much space we have left after I finish designing and building this. Oh yeah, let's repair that for a, an extortionate amount. Why not? Gets it out of the way, doesn't it? Oh, the path is already built. That's rather handy. No grass organic. What grass is this then? Oh, that's non-organic grass. Okay. Okay, fine. So we will be putting some grass in here then, with an organic, uh, with an orga an organic design on it. All right, that's fine. So in which case we are going to need some garages. Probably going to need some sort of silo, I would have thought. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's get some power over here. Can't believe they still haven't fixed this power situation. Right, everybody has power. I'm sure I built another one, fourth one, but hey, we'll just do it again. And that so nearly fits another one in there, but not quite. Let's hope four is enough. One combine, one tractor, one trailer. Uh, it's going to be tight, but I think we can do it. No warehouse. Okay, so we need to build a barn in amongst all of this. Oh yeah, thank you <clears throat> to whoever it was that pointed out that uh, over here in decorations, if I grab a tree and press, what do I press? E? R? Uh? It changes the tree type, so I can actually get quite a few trees in here. Which is cool. So thank you for that, because I would not have figured that out, I don't think, on my own. Just disguises all that stuff in the middle, doesn't it? Makes it look a little bit nicer. Probably do a little bit more than that. I'm getting distracted now, though.
Perfect. That looks a lot nicer than it did before. Oh, we're in debt. Look at this, we're in debt. This year is going super quick. Alright, what can we sell? Ostrich eggs. Bit of cheese. Strawberries. Honey money. Fish. The black currants. The jam, even though it's a terrible price. And the fish, the frozen fish. Gets us out of debt, but we don't actually have that much cash. We will do. It will come. God dear me, the price of some of these things is terrible. And these don't match up to these, I've noticed as well. So you've got to be wary of that. So we've only got 191,000 left. That's not actually that much cash. We have spent quite a lot out to get where we are. So that'll take 30 days. But we do at least have access to the larger pigs now. So let's, let's try and get some of those down. Medium pigsty. Now, I'm curious, will the vet be able to reach them? Because I didn't notice, oh yes, she does have a circle of influence, as it were. So maybe the vets can go here. It's going to be an expensive build, isn't it? Perfect spot for her. Right, so this will be our first load of pigs. I don't actually know what pigs eat. What do pigs eat? It's not going to tell me. And it takes two workers. That is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Now that's telling me they don't have enough electricity, which I find appalling. But we'll put an electricity pylon in and that will be up and running. Okay, so let's get one in place. We'll go for pigs to start with. So we've got some corn, we've got some oats, we have some rye, we have some chickpea. In fact, we have all of that. So I'll put them down for everything and we'll get two pigs in there. So how many pigs can we hold? 16. Okay, great. Let's do the same for this one. Should we go for some boar? Let's get some boar. Mix it up a bit. What do boars eat? We don't have any potatoes. We do have lupin. We do have soya. We don't have potatoes or cabbage. Um, when we transfer the <clears throat> grass from here over to here and make it organic that I think will be our opportunity to swap that over so let's swap this temporarily to normal grass Do these need to be so big? Couldn't you just fit more on a single screen on that little window just by making it a bit smaller? Save me scrolling down all the time. Right, so we've got boars, we've got pigs, and I'm going to mix that up and expand upon that. Now we already have some cows and stuff, but what I want to do is get the large cow shed before I shift these guys over. I do have some boars though, so let's sell all of those boars, delete that building, the ostriches I'm not going to worry about too much yet, we've got some chickens as well, so all of that's going to come over here, we're definitely going to need a few more houses aren't we, so let's get some more houses down, I 
48,000 left in the bank. We're actually uh, pretty low on cash. Now, question is, where shall I put the abattoir? Not that I can afford it right now, but I'm thinking right in front of the house where they work? Probably not a good idea. Um, I guess here is where it's going to have to go. Can I get another garage there, do you think? So close, but no. This sticky out bit at the end. This unnecessary, awkward, rickety, broken down old fence bit that d really doesn't need to be there, that's in the way. Okay. Not to worry. Not to worry. How are we doing over here? Manure storage. No warehouse, manure storage. Ah. Okay, that's a bit of a, an oversight. All right, let's sell some stuff. We have to start shifting things regardless of price. Just to make sure we've got enough cash coming in. So that's 1.6 million in the bank. That should keep us going for another 10, 20 minutes. So can I put these in the middle without disturbing all of my lovely trees and such? Oh. Something ding ding just subscribed. Thank you so much. I massively appreciate it. Thank you for that. Thank you. For, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does that have a circle of influence? It does. Okay, so they've got access to it. I need not have even put two down, but... Just for aesthetic purposes. I think I'm going to do something with this. Turn it into a little garden or something. So my training appears to have finished. Let's come down to the bottom. Uh, workshop for poultry breeders. Faster reproduction of poultry by 10%. Okay. Did I have access to other things here? I really ought to pay attention next time. I thought it was linear. I thought I was going to have to do one by one by one by one. Manure spreader. Right. Let's buy this stuff. I'll buy a used one. Yeah, carriage 23 is fine. Buying directly from the garage is, I think, probably... The, oh, I was going to say the nicest, easiest way of doing it. And then all of a sudden I'm over here. It doesn't lock me down to the garage, even though I... Tried to do it that way. Right, we'll put one either side. So we have no employees at the moment. We do need some permanent employees, don't we? That's these guys. So I need to get someone who's good with orchards and machines. If I get somebody who's good for something else, I will put them in uh, in the correct placement. This would be fine if it just didn't move the camera, honestly. Oh, I think we've hit our limit of uh, employees. So I'm going to have to do some training on that now. How are we getting on? 60 days, we're going to have to wait. So I need to get these two done so that I can hire more people. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry. We are working away in the right direction. Let's grab two more people. So you're... A an animal-esque type person. Doing silage. Summer is here. Nice. <laughs> Definitely need a few more animal-based employees.
Oh, yeah. Immediately forgot that I'd hit my limit. Okay, what's going on here? No machine, little plow. Right, okay, let's get all the stuff they need. God, I wish I wouldn't do this. There is a little plow. I just saw one. What's this? Garage 23. What else do they need? So they only need it once. That's the thing. They only need it one time. So I need a planter. I should have done this first, really. I got a bit distracted. What was it? 25, 26? No. Uh, what was it? 24? It was 26. No, 23. Okay. So what else do we need that we haven't got? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Sprayer, water, cultivator. Okay. Am I going to need another garage here? I might need another two. Doesn't bloody fit. That's a nightmare. Right, we're going to have to change the path slightly here. It's going to break all my lovely trees, isn't it? Ah, we can rebuild them. We can rebuild all that. That's going to be fine. Oh my gosh, where is Garage 23? Why can't you just have the, th the last garage I built at the top? Is that so hard? Um, what else did they need? I've forgotten already, look. So it looks like I'm going to have to redesign a lot of this. Because we don't have enough garages. So I could get rid of that really isn't necessary. Change all of that. Redesign the positioning of this. Oh, something's being used. It's in the building. Okay. So this seems to be working really well, and there's a couple of bits I still need to get. A sprayer and a cultivator. Maybe I don't need to delete this. Maybe we have got enough spray space. Let me just see. Cultivator. Typical. I picked the wrong one. So just the sprayer, and then I think we're I think we'll be good then. Yeah, we need the orchard sprayer more than the other one. Right. So I think within that area there we have everything we need, but I do want to bring all my little green tractors over. So I am going to have to do something to uh, reposition some of these. Maybe just this one. Don't think we've got any space left though already, look. 
So, yeah, a bit of tweaking required. Small amount of redesign. I can't believe I couldn't fit an additional one in the middle there. That's a bit of a pain. So I don't have a well nearby, but I've got this water thing pump. Do I need a well as well? I don't think I need the well because I've got the water machine here. But in the interest of keeping everybody sweet, let's just build a well. That's tiny. That boosts the range though. So I'm thinking all those fields should be able to get water. There should be no problem with getting water for any of them. And what's this? Orchard planter and an orchard tractor. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do something about these tractors. Darn it. Alright, I'm going to break it all and then I'll fix it all. It's amazing how many machines you need to uh, just maintain a little, a little orchard. Come on, you're taking so long. I'm ready to repart. Thank you. So whilst it is a little bit frustrating that it worked out that way, I do like how you can't just pick up a building and, and reposition it. There are consequences to what you do, and I kind of like that. We may have to leave it like this, actually, with the extra one, just so that we've got enough space for everything. Goodness sake. But the newest garages at the top just make so much sense. So after this um, season is finished and we've got this full orchard implemented and working, we'll get rid of all of these and uh, we'll move over all of the necessary equipment over to here. I think it looks pretty cool, like a little, um, like a little village. Yeah, I like it. I think it works well. Right, so I believe that is that fully working now, yes? No, oh no, I haven't got the planter. I mean, it's so obvious that I need a planter over here. Again, we only need one because... Um, Why can't I repair that? It's a little odd. Because it's already been earmarked for use, I don't know. Cool. So we're not going to have any money this year, but next year we'll definitely have something. It's going to look really awesome, this orchard, when it's fully, uh, fully finished. No building, field 17, apple. We're all asking for wells. Oh, lots of negative things there. They kind of have to gonna. They're gonna. They're going to have to kind of look after themselves this year, whilst I'm uh, busy doing other things, basically. So I think we're good. I think we are very, very good. Yeah, I know there's not enough stuff at the moment. We're working on that. In fact, uh, that's a good point. Let's go back. Education. Straight down to the bottom. 25 grand, take 30 days, and we will get ourselves access to a few more workers, which is nice. But you can see the farm is just ticking over really well, really nicely. 
So, can we get any more animal based? Which room is this? This is livestock. Okay, you're good with animals. Oh, I keep forgetting. I've reached my limit. I can't hire anyone else. I think I need to buy a second water trailer. In an attempt to get this working properly. So where's the apple? I think that's apple there, isn't it? That's apple. According to this, that's fine for water. I mean, that's nearly 100%. So why are you giving me grief? I do not know. Starving animals in small cow shed three. Really? Right, let's just pause a second. See what the hell's going on here. What have they not got? So just grass. How can just grass be enough for them to to starve? How is that possible? Uh, where does grass go? I think it goes into the barn, doesn't it? It's true, we have no grass, but we're about to have lots of grass, so I think they can wait for a little bit, can't they? Maybe the abattoir doesn't go here. Maybe the abattoir goes here. That's a possibility. I'm just thinking this is looking more and more like the place where I'm going to be growing the grass and the food for the animals, etc. Especially if it's all going to be organic, I'm going to have to keep that separate. See, I don't think that's, I don't think that's accurate. Also, I was going to say, so these are still using chems, look. I didn't realise that. Whereas these are all going to be organic, so these are going to be much nicer. And how often do these... 27 days and that's going to be ready to to harvest. Well, that's interesting. We'll grab a few a few people then. Seasonal employees 11. That'll keep them going. I think the cows are just bitching and moaning for no good reason. They're not starving at all. Uh, they've got all the food they need. They just don't have grass. And there's grass coming, so. I'm going to blame Aria, Araya, because there is food. She just needs to go and get it. Look, silage, 10,000 tons. There's straw. Okay, there's no grass, but there will be in a minute. Gosh, we have a lot of cows. I wonder, just out of interest... If you didn't have If you have less cows in a cow shed Oh god I just want to click on the cows god damn it If you have less less cows surely they eat less food That makes sense to me I'm not sure if they've implemented that in the game or not. But it certainly makes sense. So the pigs are happy. The boars are fairly happy. I think we're alright. I think we're doing well. I think we're doing okay.
a whole bunch of strawberries to pick and here comes the fruit harvest nice so I can actually get rid of this now or once the harvest is finished obviously I can actually sell those on So that one's done, we can say goodbye to it. They've done us quite well. I mean, the first couple of years were an absolute bloody nightmare, obviously. But since then, they've done a good job. Cherries can go. It's starting to open up now, isn't it? I'm really looking forward to next year. I think it's going to be good. Okay, done, and done, and done, and done, that's it, the old orchard is gone, the new orchard is here, very exciting times. Okay, so let's get all of the equipment from here over to there. See, like there's a planter there. We really don't need that anymore. We're going to need a whole shed full of these, I would imagine. Here they are. I love these little tractors. Like I say, if I ever bought a tractor, I think it would be one of these. So versatile. Plus I could fit six of them in my garage, which is nice. So that does not need to be in there. I didn't realise that was there. I just suddenly remembered I, I stuck a, uh, a combine over here somewhere. So that can go in there. That's much, much more like it. Now, are we going to get a harvest off the peppers? There's one day left for it to grow, so I'm guessing we will, which is very cool. go over here so that's for those fields the orchard sprayer probably do you know I probably I feel like I probably need to leave that where it is but we'll grab it for the time being it takes up two spaces doesn't it because spraying the orchard is going to be an incredibly important thing. And we'll have loads of space over here, so we'll be able to get something else pretty quickly. There's another one there anyway. Okay, groovy. What's in this one? Ah, a water sprayer. So we'll move that over so that it's in reach of everything. And yes, we're harvesting. Do we have any employees though? How many do we have? Five. Five employees. That's not many employees to harvest this area, is it? Okay, that's all right. There's a couple more there now, look. Six. <laughs> Plus this, the uh, the 
the full-time staff are there as well, not forgetting them. All right, okay. Let's see what the yield on uh, peppers is like. So, I can sell this. And I can sell this. Oh, there's workers in there. Okay, so they're all over here working on uh, on the greenhouses. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to them. I'm not sure. We could turn this into the greenhouse area, perhaps. Because we are still producing stuff. So how big can I make this field? Ah, not as big as I thought. It's still pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck some grass in here. See you now. That's telling me I don't have any of the equipment I need. Which is true. So, okay. There's a big ass tractor over here somewhere. That can go over. I'm going to buy a mower because I want to have two. Why do I want to have two? Because I still got grass over there, I guess. So until this is fully established. Gosh, darn, I hate that camera thing. Every time it does it, I'm like, oh, God, I hate you. Okay, what else do we need here? Plow. Cultivator. I shouldn't have sold them, should I? Why do you do that? What kind of what kind of cultivator do I need for this field? Don't want to get the wrong one. Nesta. Why do you do it? Right, so that should be enough to get us up and running at least. Uh, I think I need a planter as well. No, I need a seed, uh, seed drill, that's the one. For grass, do I see grass there? So we'll renovate that, get it fixed. So it looks like the mechanic doesn't renovate them anymore anyway. Looks like that's an additional cost of some other sorts now. Okay, we've nearly got what we need. What else do we need? Oh god, no, we need loads and loads of more stuff. Manure spreaders and all sorts of things. We do at least have some grass in, in there, which is good. Get a water trailer.
Now the benefit of the sprayer, of course, is that it only takes up one square. We can slip it in like that. Oh, I think we're almost there. What have I? What else have I forgotten? The wind rower. That's it. That's the final thing. That is a lot of stuff for one field, isn't it? But it's a massive field, so we're going to have all the organic grass that we need and the silage that we need to feed all of our animals uh, from here until the end of time. So uh, it's worth doing, I think. We also have a bit of space for a few more, maybe. There we go. Looking pretty good. Quite happy with that. And the beauty of putting it all separated like this is that none of my employees are ever going to bugger off and do anything over here that I don't want them to. They're always going to be here ready to do the job that I employed them to do. So that's going to help massively. I was telling me that they're short on food. What are they lacking? Lupin. Looks like the looping yield... Uh, the lupin yield has just come in so if i do another field with lupin because i know quite a lot of animals eat the lupin we'll go bio again because otherwise we're going to get lots of trouble so we need the rodon combine which one have i got then the xena i still got issues about that because the large attachment fits on that tractor. So I see no reason why, it, on that, sorry, combine. So I see no good reason why it can't do this field. I, th I think it's a silly argument that makes no sense. But uh, that's fine because we have a road on over here that I bought. And I don't think I need it over there for anything because none of those fields are that big. And even if they are, I think I have another one over here. Yeah, so I'm absolutely covered. So that's good. This field is, should be 100% ready to go. Yeah. So that's all the grass and all the looping we could ever possibly need. Got a five ton storage area there. So that's good. These fields are pretty big though, aren't they? I could buy this bit of land and expand the uh, the fields out this way if necessary. There's a bit of range there. Maybe I just put some smaller fields in for the other crops. I don't think we're going to need quite so much. The grass obviously we convert into something else. Almost all the animals eat lupin, so those two I think are the have to be the priority. In fact, we're going to have to get one more thing down there, aren't we? Corn is looking like an essential part. So that's not organic corn, so that's not going to that's not going to fly. Could put some corn there. It's not going to be a massive corn field, but We could theoretically expand it. Chest trailer, seven meter corner, and the precision cedar. Damn it.
What did it say? The seven meter. I'm sure we had one of those, didn't we? Yeah, what's this? Well, that's a five meter. Well, we'll take it over because we don't need it there. Get a trailer in. God damn it. Now, the problem I've got is, what's this then? That's a nine meter. So you won't let me use the nine meter. I just think that's crazy. Oh, actually, that's the cereals, isn't it? Yep, you're not much good to me over there, to be honest. At best, you're getting in the bloody way. So we'll shift you out of the way. And we'll buy a corn 7 meter. Try that again. Oh man, what is the... the camera's reversed. It's like the camera was fighting me then. So it's only two squares wide, so I could actually shift this one out of the way. But, uh, I'm getting confused now. Over there. Oof. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, now you have road access, you can stop crying about that. That's it, I think we have everything we need here. We need a Rega tractor, huh? Well, that says we've got one. But I'll buy another one. Because having lots is always good. Ah, oh, come on. Camera, let go! Stupid camera. we go. See, I knew we had one. You're lying to me, you scumbag game. Right. All in place. All working. All good. Now, we don't have any tractor drivers over here, actually, at the moment. So, it's possibly a bit of a pain. Are there any decent uh, animal type people? Yeah, you're all right. I am putting you in the wrong building, though. This is the manufacturing building, isn't it? I'll sort them out later. Okay. And what logic in the game, when I'm trying to fill this up and it gets full, instead of saying, well, maybe this house or this house or this house, decides that this is the best house, I hope they polish it up. I hope they polish it up. I really do. So, uh, money is definitely not a problem anymore, is it? So, we're at a lupin again. Obviously, a lot of animals are eating the lupin. Problem is, this is... Um, this is bio-lupin. We're going to need quite a lot of fields here to feed all these animals. I think I underestimated the field impact. You watch. I'll put I'll put a field in there 
and it won't be big enough to justify something like the seven meter um, header or something. And I'll have to uh, I'll have to buy another one that's five meters or something ridiculous like that. Just see it coming. I can just see it coming. Not enough resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, winter is here. My gosh, that's come round quickly. Let's just have a look and see if there's any training we could do. I'm going to look and see if I can pick what I want to do. No. Third level of building for poultry. Let's do that. We can get some chickens in. Chickens eat lupin. I might need a couple more of these, actually. And that's it, guys. Winter has set in. And um, I'm sure we've got lots of stuff to sell. Absolutely tons. Look, honey money. Oh, God, that's a terrible price. Cheese. Oh, my word. Frozen fish. Oh, my goodness. Blackcurrant jam. Everything is down in price. Even ostrich eggs. I mean, where can you buy ostrich eggs? I haven't even sold my fruit produce. Look at this. 200,000 on the peppers. 163,000 on the tomatoes. So I was wrong. 222,000 on the gooseberries. Look at that. The pears. The apples. Apricot value is really low, but it's still 144,000. 84,000 on the plums. Strawberries, reasonable price. Cherries, good price. Basic black currants, 72,000. Basic fish, 3,000. Basic trout. Liquid manure, there's lots of that. So yeah, I mean, look. Three million in the bank. Money is not an option anymore. When you have money, the opportunities that uh, become available to you are almost endless. But we're doing pretty well. We've got a small corn holding, probably not big enough. Cows are obviously going to eat a lot of beets. What can I put in here? Rye and oats. So we need a baler and a trailer. Damn it. Scratch that then. I'll, I'll think that through because we're going to need a couple more buildings for that. Could I suppose put a couple there, maybe even down the side. It's so many, so many buildings. I think that's what gets me is, you know, you've got all this equipment. Why not just let me drive it down the road and do these fields and drive it back? Why have restrictions on the garages? Because it's just forcing you to buy the same equipment that you already own four or five different times. I'm not a big fan of that, I'll be honest. Not a big fan of that at all. Maybe I need to change all these fields. That could be an option. Perhaps I don't need to grow this stuff here at all. Yeah, I'm going to have a little think on that, I think. So we got two months of winter. I don't know what we're going to do in the two months of winter. Let's maybe consider... What have we not got? We don't have a milk processing plant yet, do we? Yes, we do. We don't have the slaughterhouse yet. Let's grab that. Now, that's quite a large area that it covers. I used to work in a slaughterhouse. It's not a lot of fun, I tell you. Okay, we've done it. We've taken the plunge. We have a slaughterhouse. 
What else can we buy? A vegetable processing plant. Okay, I'm going to squeeze that in over here somewhere. That's pretty good. What else do we have options? Wise, what's this? An oil factory. Ah. At the moment, we don't really grow anything that we can turn into oil. Um... So that's an area that we can expand into. And that fits over there quite nicely. So all the manufacturing and stuff is all over here in one place. I mean, I might decide to move it later on, but for now it's fine. Now, the frustration is, of course, that the slaughterhouse will only slaughter one type of animal uh, at a time, which is a bit of a problem. Again, in, in my eyes, the electricity reaches. And the game's kind of cheating. Right, what do we have on in terms of options? We have the pigs. Get a bit more money if they're bio pigs. Turkeys. Oh, there are turkeys in the game. I said about turkeys. I didn't see any. Maybe you have to unlock them. We got the deer. We got the ostrich. We got the quail that isn't a quail. So you can't do the. Oh, there's the boar. I was going to say, you can't do the boar. Are you serious? So we'll start with the boar. We'll say that building and we'll take anything over four. So who have we got? You're good for that. You're good for that. You're for tractors. Right, so the manufacturing department is up and running. The abattoir. Who can we employ here? So I don't think we have anyone available for these positions yet. But we have tomatoes. Makes sense to me that we do something with tomatoes. And they're bio tomatoes as well, I think, aren't they? Maybe we haven't got them yet. Yeah. So that'll be fine when they come in. And what can we do for oil? We need to grow some of these crops, which we don't have. So that's, that's something for the future. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'd say... I'd say Oh, oh my god, I'm not paying any attention at all. Look. 2nd of February. I'm sorry. I've eaten into two months of next month's of the next year's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And um, no electricity at the oil factory. Are you mad? Surrounded by electricity. Look, it's even touching you. Right, where's the next nearest electricity point? It's right there, isn't it? job done guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it take care of yourselves and hopefully this video is in 4k and the audio isn't a complete mess but i won't know until i upload it so my fingers are crossed thanks for watching take care till next time goodbye